Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our fourth annual Town of North Hampstead Recycle Materials Art Show. And I love it because it's uh, every year it's a challenge to decide or how I'm going to install it in the gallery and make it look really spectacular. This is a professional art gallery. So we have the work, we've had um, some very famous artists in this gallery and we decided to donate the gallery for this project every year to, to emphasize our support of what John Kamen and the Town of North Hempstead um, are doing for recycling. The criteria by which we were supposed to judge um, had to do with how well was the message on recycling expressed. And some of these projects are group projects, some of these projects are like, they were divided up into different categories because clearly a high school child is going to express him or herself differently from a kindergartner. But it's amazing to see what some of the younger students were able to do. This is the most exciting day of the year for me, and I hope it's the same for you as well. We have over a thousand students participating from 50 schools and it is absolutely unbelievable. And as you see, we have parents, and what we want them to do is bring the message home. People always say, you know, that one little bottle is not gonna make a difference. It is gonna make a difference, because we are in 50 schools, and we impact 30,000 students. And think about it, if 30,000 students every single day recycle one bottle, and they're doing that every single day, that makes an enormous difference. For my art project, I made a whole meal so it was basically a burger, a milkshake, and fries. I used cardboard, tape, paint, of course, um, plastic covers. I've definitely learned that you can make anything out of just some thing that you thought was trash. And it just makes you feel like you made a difference. So it's a great experience. We're upcycling. We're using something that could be usually thrown out and making it an art masterpiece. So. I was really excited because I love art, I love recycling, and I really love especially painting and art. It took about a month for us to do, and the students worked independently to create individual pieces of artwork, and then came together collaboratively to produce this full, large format piece of artwork. When my teacher um, told me about the contest, um, what automatically went through my mind was like for recycling was to do something that relates to the environment, so I thought of the tree idea. All of the cans that I used in my project are from my house, so obviously we have a problem, but it's fine. It, um, I just see how much like it all adds up, and like like that could have been like in my garbage can, but now it's making art. I really wanted to work with paper and magazines because that's everywhere and it's really relevant. Um, um, I wanted to, you know, compose something that was very complex, but actually is very simple to, um, on top of it. So I had the complex um, paper in the background, but a simple portrait of a woman in the front. Um, this was actually pretty new for me. I'm usually drawing and painting, but I really enjoyed this. I am a big fan of art, and I like creating weird stuff <laughs> and creative stuff. So I just popped up popped into my head, like, why don't we do the Empire State Building? We looked for newspaper, mostly. Um, we looked for bottle caps and cardboard boxes. We received the first place for the best group project. The artwork that 750 children helped to create was a very large alligator that was made mostly from um, recycled egg cartons. Suddenly we realized we had a great scale of material for the skin um, and that sort of helped lead us toward this alligator or we had to decide between alligator and crocodile um, <laughs> and then it grew and it grew and it grew and because we have 750 children work on yeah. it, it grew quite large. <laughs> so it became the extraordinary alligator. Every student who submitted a work is exhibited. Whether or not they won a prize, they, they're a winner just by being here in the gallery. 
And what we do hope that they go away is with uh, a love for the earth, a love for the environment, and a mission, a mission to recycle and reclaim and reuse.